Hey, good morning, my good people. Okay, so it's time to do chores. Mm -hmm. And again, it's been raining for two days, and they have a wet seat. gathering out here at the porch. Let me show you. <laughs> Mr. T, you hungry? They know it's time to eat, y'all. The bachelors are hanging out, want some food. First, we have to fill up these buckets with water. You guys ready for breakfast? All right, boys, here they come. Let's give them a scoop of scratch. Bless well, sweet feet. Hello. Excuse me. Scratch. Let's go this way. <laughs> That's a happy bunch of boys. Y'all go get your breakfast. It's the bachelor rooster breakfast. I'm getting Penny's breakfast ready as well. Very happy about that. 
our next batch of meat birds won't get here until the week of July the 6th. So it's going to be a hot summer for those. So we have a hundred more birds coming. <laughs> Driving by the chicken coop this morning, look what I found. I gotta see how I can help this little fella get out of here. This is the skirt fencing that goes around the chicken coop, and I have a little turtle, a box turtle, that's stuck here. Let's see if I can. Come on out, little boy. Or girl, come on. Be free. Come on. It's okay, it's just a chicken. taken by the pond. <laughs> hey, look at you. I've been camping out there for a while. I'm going to put you down here by the pond. That's probably where you was aiming to go. Oopsie, sorry about that. He tumbled down the hill. I didn't mean for him to do that. I think he's quite happy. Uh oh, I gotta get that one. out of the water. Okay, back to chores. Everybody's waiting on breakfast. Even the gals. I'm coming, I'm coming.
right, time to mix. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go and show you our new friends here on our pond. We have got some wild geese and all their little hatchlings. Little goslings, they're beautiful. You get up here without scaring them. Oh yeah, you see the millweed. <laughs> Let's get past the millweed. Can you see out there? Let's see, right there. We have four wild geese here. Excuse me. I'm trying to get closer for y'all. Babies. Maybe this is an aunt and uncle? I'm not really sure. <laughs> then you can see across the pond over here, that is Abby and Amelia hanging out. Looks like we might have, let's see, two, four, six little baby goslings. Here they are. And I think I found their nest. I'm going to leave. I don't want to upset them. Here's their little nest, it looks like. So. It's a beautiful morning out here on the pond. Love seeing them with your babies. Good morning, Penny. I got your breakfast. Come on, girl. Okay, let's get it. Here we go. There you go, baby. It's a sweet baby girl. I just love her. She's so pretty. Okay, so today I'm going to be working with the bees. And I am... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I am putting together the uh, racks for the bee houses or for the the honey whatever you may, may call it <laughs> the honey nest or whatever I'll get the terms right you know um, but I'm pre-drilling holes here so that I can um, you know put the nail through there Rob instructed me that I needed to pre-drill the hole so I wouldn't split the wood. So, he's the woodworker in the family and so I go by what he says. Okay? Alright. Okay. There's one. I drilled this hole. Ah! Don't do that. Piece. Yes. 
say I was ever good at puzzles. Okay. Like Tetris. I was never good at that either. Come in the little slots, will you? For real? <laughs> drill a hole here. Okay, one down and like 10 to go. Okay, so I'm gonna get this other uh, bee brood box ready for the queen, and we're gonna take it up to the um, beehive. Let me take a look at some. Okay, I had the bee brood, I had the box upside down. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm better. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in that I've just nailed together put in that bottom box. So now I just gotta get dressed. Okay, so I am getting ready to head out. I got my smoker going. And got my hat with the arms that doesn't fit me but I'm gonna put that on and we're gonna go out and see the bees I feel so silly I did order myself just a hat <laughs> that folks I'm gonna tie my arms in a little bow okay so got my handy dandy basket with all the things I need okay let's see if I can fit this in here
remember my words today, but what I need is one. I'm going to need about 10 more. I actually need a lot more than that, but just to fill this box. But when I pulled off the lid, they had made, you know, like three honeycombs where I had removed, I had had to remove three of these for the initial brooder box. And there were three huge honeycombs. Not filled with honey, but just wax. They're building it to store their food. So when I added the second box to put that lid on, I had to remove three of those. So that was interesting. <laughs> um, so they're quite healthy. And I learned a lesson about my smoker. And we usually would fill this with um, pine straw and light it so that it smokes. But we've had so much rain, I could not put any pine straw in it. I had tissue paper, and by the time I got out there and started puffing, darn y'all, my fire was out and I had no smoke. <laughs> so, I learned, and I got stung on my ankle. No biggie, it didn't hurt too bad. Um, and I'm not allergic to these type of bees. I am allergic to wasps, they ain't no joke. So. We'll get out there again, don't worry, and you'll be able to see. But golly, that was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So thank y'all for joining me today. We will see you on the next vlog, um, and I hope you'll come back to see us. Bye.